All right, so we got God of War Ragnarok Valhalla official behind the scenes right to video. I love like behind the scene like video stuff like that for like gaming. I love that. Now Valhalla, it kind of took like a. Your favorite it felt like the old God of War bringing, uh, a little bit. You know, the back as someone that's been on the series for quite a while. Yes, yes, I've been uh, been working on these games since God of War Two. I told so you, bro. It felt it felt like an old God of War with Kratos and uh, with with the franchise. So it was very very exciting to be able to bring all of these Greek elements back. Oh uh, my I would have God. to say one of the favorite things was uh, bringing back Helios. Yeah, that was crazy that he came back. Congratulations. Oh. You really are going places in Valhalla. It's a very complex character, a complex history that Kratos has had with them, and you know, keeping with the tradition of the severed heads. Complex. Right? We have Medusa, we have uh, Mimir, and of course, you know, Helios is part of that. So it was very fun to bring back the character and kind of um, hear his perspective on Kratos, uh, you know, and then having a, a, a head that talks to Kratos and the Mimir. Yeah, the same so, head that he ripped off is what's crazy. What's with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Well, he's it's, had a son. You know, pretty some some fresh opportunities. There. I remember the first time I got it up and running, where the head was showing on Kratos's waist. It was just like, whoa, this is uh, this is bringing it back. Man, so, just collected yeah, his head like a souvenir. The uh, the stuff that we did for the combat banter, where oh my is God. very uh, bro, you know, uh, positive and yeah. uh, trying to help you, and the Helios. Is bro, not Santa Monica Helios Studios, I did a really good job with this, bro. A little bit. Well, it's a God of War game, so of course. That's a nice change of pace. <laughs> Bro. What about you? What was your favorite thing? Bro, you know, it's, it's different hard. for me because, you know, I didn't work on the uh, the, the old series, right? I, I actually was inspired by that, and that's part of the reason why I work here today. Uh, so it's really cool working on this project and coming at it from that perspective and getting a chance to, uh, to bring the Blade of Olympus. Bro, look at the hammer in the back. How much does that cost? I want that. You know, this this Norse oh, uh, the classic sword. something pretty special. It's always kind of held a, a unique place. That's crazy that they actually brought that back, bro. That's arsenal. crazy. I've seen it in a lot of top 10. That's crazy. Uh, they actually weapons, brought the right? sword the back, videos, bro. Uh, uh, out in the internet. So uh, definitely was one of the ones. Oh, that, my God. Y'all see that? Bro, y'all see that color? I'm proud with the animations <laughs> in there. You know, we had to, we had to, yeah, <laughs> you worked on that. You're right. So, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that was. Uh, bro, y'all see that color? Oh, my God. Bro, look at the no, color in this, bro. That was really fun to to see Kratos. Bro, the color in this looks crazy. I would have to say the imagery of the three judges. Oh yeah, three judges is something uh, really epic. I remember uh, this from back when I when I first saw it uh, to actually having it now. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, definitely those statues are a, a very impactful imagery from the previous games that really stood up with me. So bringing them back and seeing that I, uh, those iconic poses holding the chain that definitely brought back some memories across the game. Just being able to uh, hey, this is ruthless. Some like some that elements, was like menacing uh, you know, Kratos. The franchise from the past was was really fun, absolutely, and. Uh, I hope the players enjoy it. Just uh, dive in deeper into Valhalla and see what else you can you can unearth. Bro. And, and the best part, hold on, hold on. Please, Please teach on. All right, listen. And the best part about this whole thing was that they, bro, they gave this uh, DLC away. Because if you guys didn't know, they actually showed the Valhalla DLC at the Game Awards. I think, I believe the 2023 Game Awards. And, um, bro, they actually gave us that uh, DLC for free. Like, that's the first time we've ever had a God of War DLC for free, bro. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to be honest with you. If you guys haven't played Valhalla, it's basically Kratos. I, I think I think the whole point of, of, of the Valhalla... Oh, should I tell you guys or no? Okay, if you don't, if you don't want uh, if you don't want to know about like the DLC whatever, do not like you know exit off the video. But before you leave the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You did it. Okay, now you can leave. You don't, if you don't want spoilers, but it's basically Kratos just uh, just finding peace within himself, you know, because when you come from you know this brutal, like this young brutal, you know, just menacing person, and to the, obviously you know as you get older, like you wisen, like you wisen up. Is wisen a, a word? Is wisen up? A, like is that a thing or no? When you become more wise, like whenever like you get older, you know, from like experience and like lessons or just lessons from other people, you know, you can learn a lot of, uh, you can learn a lot from other people's mistakes. And I think, uh, it, it, like in this DLC, it really showed like the human side of Kratos, even though he's not really a human, he's, he's, he's a God, but like, I feel like a lot of humans, uh, that like play the game, they can really, uh, you know, 
I guess you could say they can really see themselves as Kratos, not really as like this menacing character from before, but like, you know, I imagine a lot of people like made like a lot of like mistakes or uh, a lot of people dwell on like the past of what they did or what they didn't do in the past. And, uh, and, and, you know, sometimes it can like affect them, like the current them now. So I think what the whole lesson of Valhalla was that no matter, no matter how, no matter what happened in the past, you can always try to make peace with yourself. And as you guys can see um, how, you know, the older Kratos was looking, was like legit looking at the younger Kratos because the uh, the younger Kratos was actually in the DLC. Um, they were just looking at each other and, you know, and, and the older Kratos or the current Kratos was actually looking at what he was telling the young Kratos, you know, you were ruthless, you were heartless, da 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 But at the time, though, you know, what, what you guys have to forget is, you know, that that's a that's like a perfect lesson for everybody for like Kratos and people in real life is that no matter what you did, you know, when you were younger or whatever, um, you know, you have to live in the now and you have to make decisions for the now, because guess what? You were making decisions for the now and you were being that person when you were younger. So how come you can't do the same thing? You know, you can't really dwell in the past. You can't really, uh, like you can't take the past with you, you know, cause if you do, uh, it's going to affect the present, you know, and that's what I learned, you know, as, as I'm growing up and stuff like that, you know, I, I wouldn't consider myself as like a wise person. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty young and stuff like that. So, um, but one thing that I do like to do is I like, I like to learn from other people's mistakes and I like to, um, and I like to kind of, I think like react naturally. I like to like react naturally, just like in life, not, I'm not just talking about the video or whatever, but I like to like, you know, uh, just reflect on, what I'm doing now and like, like how I'm doing stuff now instead of like, uh, you know, thinking about the past and stuff like that, because it's so easy to get caught up in the past. It's so easy to, you know, um, you know, dwell on what you did, like what you did, what you didn't do, um, how that person felt about you, whatever, da, 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 da. Oh, that's the past, you know, and you can't, you can't be stuck in that past because if you're stuck in the past, then you are burning time in the future or not even the future, you're burning time in the present. And, you know, that's not, that's not a good thing. And I think a lot of people just in general, like around the world, a lot of people, when I mean a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people get stuck in the past. And a lot of people, um, they, it's, it's not like they, they won't jump from the past, you know, into like the current present. And I feel like luckily me, I think I understand that. So um, I'm not really so caught up in the past anymore of what I had or what I didn't have and, and stuff like that. It is what it is, you know, and, and, and that's and that was my life before but right now you know I'm, I'm over here you know making content for you guys um we got a lot of great games coming up this year next year and um you know i'm just you know doing my youtube thing so you know we'll see how how far we can take this how big we can take you know how big we can take this but uh thank you guys so much for watching and stuff like that it really means a lot and um hopefully you guys learned like a little lesson like for me i always like learning lessons like through like video games and like you know through other people and stuff like that i like doing that so Hope you guys like, you know, took in what I said, you know, hey, it might help you out, you know, don't get stuck in the past. But also another thing, don't get caught up too much in the future because you never know what will happen in the future, you know. So don't get caught up in, you know, it's not it's not bad to plan your future. But at the same time, you can't control the future because you're now you're you're in here. You know, you can't control like you. You can shape the direction of your future, but you can't like it's it's impossible. You can't like jump to the future you can't do that you can't it's impossible you can't jump back to the past you can't jump to the future you can only jump right now so uh make sure you guys give it all your best and whatever that you do and um you know we'll all be get, we'll all be uh great together you know other than that so you guys are the biggest one i'm out i'm out I'm, i know i'm yapping and stuff like that i need water and peace.